Hello world and welcome to another episode of Launch Mass. In this episode we are going to talk about Lambda Provision Concurrency. If you want to know more about serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started! <laughs> Welcome to the fourth episode of Launchmas, one video from the 1st of December until Christmas. So here we are, every day. In this video we are going to talk about uh, Lambda Provision Concurrency, that was a launch that was made yesterday, so it's a very fresh launch. And in this launch there are quite a lot of things that you were asking for for many many years. Lambda turned five years now at more or less at this time so this is something that I think you were asking from day one. So in a nutshell provision concurrency means that your lambdas will be ready and just warm up as they are called in the industry to be uh, called from outside. So I have already explained many times how lambda works in general when you invoke a lambda this lambda will uh, this invocation will go to the lambda platform and there it will go to this execution environment and the lambda platform will provision like a container and will deploy all your code all your dependencies and whatever you need and make the lambda ready for you if it's the first time you this lambda gets invoked and there is no lambda ready you need to wait for all that to happen and that takes a little longer after the lambda is called multiple times frequently that lambda is already ready and it responds faster so the idea of the provision concurrency is that you will have a set of lambdas that are always ready so when you deploy your application you decide okay i want always to have 10 lambdas 10 functions ready warm up deployed waiting for my request to come in so when the requests come in they don't need to wait for the time that your project is warming up putting all the dependencies and the code and all that stuff this can be very helpful if you have a uh, very big deployment packages so uh, usually the bigger your deployment packages are the longer the time the for the lambda platform to initialize your function also it can help in uh, some situations when you really need really short latency and as the same response in all your calls no matter if they are cold or they are warm so in this video i will show you how to do this with sum how you can provision concurrency into your lambdas with uh, sum uh, also you can do this with the auto scaling of applications and this is pretty cool if you do it with the auto scaling because then your lambdas uh, you can provision concurrency when you need it so if you see that you will have pickups of traffic or sometimes of the days or in some specific situations, you can decide that you want to do that and you can define those rules in the application auto scaling. But in the example I will show you is with some. So you can uh, you will define the provision concurrency there and that will provision the lambda forever. So there is no rules. It's very straightforward and you will see how easy it is to do that. So I want to show you now in the code how you can configure the provision concurrency using SUM. So I already have an application ready here that I want to show you. So this is my YAML template for SUM and I have an API gateway, very simple. And then I have two functions, one with the concurrency enabled and one without. Let's look at the function that has the concurrency enabled. So this looks like a normal function until basically these three lines. That's the only things you need to add in order to add the provision concurrency. First, you need to have an alias for this um, function. That's very important. I call it live. That's the uh, alias for the, for the function. And then you need to say how many uh, concurrent executions you want to have provisioned. In this case, I set it up to 10, but you can have a thing until 900 or something like that. So it's quite a big number. And I'm pretty sure that number depends on your soft limits on how many lambdas you can run concurrently. And then the normal function is just a normal function. These two functions are not doing much than just returning the event. So I will deploy this and I want to show you 
how this looks in the in the console I will start deploying this I already have the new SAM CLI if you don't know about that check a previous video on LaunchMask that I have talked about this and now this will start deploying my project it takes a little while but we can go to the console so I'm opening here my my console and I'm waiting for my function to appear here provision concurrency no, this normal function the concurrency function and then while this is coming to life you will see in the bottom of your application the concurrency box and here you can see that you have provision concurrency configurations use the qualifier the live alias and you have zero provision concurrency because the application is deploying and the status is zero to ten of these uh, lambdas that are kind of warming up uh, the deployment takes a little longer when you have provision concurrency because it will not complete until all the lambdas are kind of up and running so this uh, just takes a little while and when it's done then it's ready to go so I will just keep on refreshing this until it's there good now it's ready it provisions quite takes a while and then it just happens so it's ready to be used so so after you after you deploy the whole thing you can then go and see how it performs one good way is to uh, run as many calls as you can and then check out the, the average duration and the call stars for each of the functions if you want to know how to do that there is in the launch blog post there is a good example on how to do it and you can check it out there so that uh, and oh, as always you can find all the code in github this was the video for today i hope you like it if you did give a big thumbs up and i see you tomorrow with another episode on launch mass bye bye